what could become a massive solar project. Specially designed towers are now going up near the Great Basin in Delta. Ed Yates takes us to a spot in our western desert. Once built, these unique solar towers will follow Utah's desert sun as it moves across the sky. Like giant magnifying glasses, each dish will focus the sun's rays to heat exchangers that will pull off heat and convert it to steam. Steam will rocket fire these turbines that will drive the generators. Burning pieces of cardboard and wood show the intensity of the rays even from this residual magnification that hasn't even been focused yet. Welcome to the vast expanse of Delta, Utah. Here stands the ruins of what was once believed to be a pioneering solar energy project. The Delta Solar Project promised to harness the power of the sun and generate renewable energy in a way that would not only be profitable but also lucrative for its investors. We now have a federally approved energy program that can make you thousands of dollars. Hello, I'm Greg Shepard, Chief Director of Operations at Raw Power 3. As you can see, the tax benefits available are frankly unprecedented. Investors were drawn in from across the country, but soon the house of cards surrounding this project would collapse. A tax scheme that would be short-lived. Now these structures stand here, silently watching the days go by. Join me as I uncover the real story behind the Delta Solar Ruins. The Delta project began with ambitious promises of a revolutionary solar technology that would change the renewable energy landscape. At the core of this project was the Delta Towers, which were envisioned as tall, skeletal structures that would support an array of solar lenses. These lenses would each be carefully placed to maximize exposure to the sun. The lenses were promoted as innovative devices that would be able to concentrate solar energy to generate significant electrical power. Neldon Johnson, the key figure behind the Delta Towers, claimed that his solar lens design harnessed the sun's rays with unparalleled efficiency. Each lens was designed to focus sunlight onto a specific point, generating high temperatures that could then be harnessed by an energy conversion system. The system would, in theory, transfer the heat into a generator that produced electricity. The Delta Towers were initially promoted as a scalable solution. Johnson suggested that arrays of these towers, placed strategically in sun-rich regions, would form large solar farms, capable of generating vast amounts of energy. Phase one right now is for about 10 to 20 towers. Now imagine 700 acres out here with a thousand towers. This potential made the project attractive to investors looking to support cutting edge renewable technology while benefiting from generous tax incentives. In the leasing model, investors would purchase individual lenses and lease them back to Johnson's companies who promised to manage the installation and operation of the Delta Towers. The towers would be connected to a network of control systems that would optimize the solar lens positioning for maximum energy generation. Johnson presented this technology as a cost-effective alternative to traditional solar panels due to its supposed high energy yield. In reality, the Delta Towers were rudimentary structures and the solar lenses were unable to generate the energy levels promised. The control systems were also insufficient, leading to poor alignment and inefficient energy capture. Despite these glaring technical flaws, Johnson and his associates maintained that the towers were on the verge of widespread adoption and profitability. They marketed the concept with elaborate diagrams and technical explanations glossing over the shortcomings of the system. The claims of a technological breakthrough and massive energy production potential were unsupported by credible data. Investors slowly began to question the technical and financial claims made by Nelson Johnson and his associates, as the promised returns on investments began to fail to materialize. Investor suspicion began to grow. The house of cards built up by Nelson and his team was beginning to buckle. The unraveling began when the IRS initiated audits of several investors who had claimed substantial tax benefits from their involvement in the Delta Solar Project. These audits revealed discrepancies between the tax benefits claimed and the actual functionality of the technology. 
the IRS found that the project did not qualify for the renewable energy credits being claimed because the technology was not placed into service in a manner that met the necessary tax code requirements. Nelson and his associates had promised investors that they would be able to write off their investments and receive tax benefits. But what about you and the thousands of dollars that are available with the generous tax benefit program? Let's take a look. This led to a broader investigation into the project that would lead to a federal court case. The court also highlighted the deceptive practices used to market the solar lenses. Quote, Defendants engaged in a massive fraud, misleading customers about the nature of the technology and the financial benefits, end quote. You know, I, I, I thought a lot about raw power three early on, and I said, well, this is either a big pie in the sky dream, or this is uh, Bill Gates in his garage in 1975. And I'm here to tell you that uh, Neldon Johnson is the Bill Gates of energy. His technology is going to revolutionize um, how we receive and use power, and I'm very excited about it. It became clear that the project was less about renewable energy and more about exploiting tax laws. Nelson Johnson's role was particularly scrutinized. He was described as the architect of the scheme. According to the court, his claims about the innovative nature of the solar lenses and their potential were found to be grossly overstated. R. Gregory Shepard, another key figure in the case, facilitated the expansion of the scheme through aggressive marketing and recruitment of distributors. The investors in the Delta Solar Project were often persuaded to invest significant sums, usually ranging from tens of thousands to over $100,000 each. Many were convinced by the misleading promises of substantial tax credits and lucrative returns. The fraudulent operation accumulated around $50 million in investments before the scheme collapsed. Following the trial, the operators of the Delta Solar Project were ordered to pay back the $50 million to the affected investors. Here in Delta, Utah, right behind me are all of the structures that were built here. Hit the like, subscribe, comment, it helps a lot, thank you. Today, the Delta Solar Ruins stand as a reminder of a failed promise. The towers slowly rotting away as birds begin to inhabit the very structures that hundreds of people once believed in. Millions of dollars and countless dreams later, how long will they last before the overpowering forces of nature envelop them? Here in Delta, Utah, time feels still. The days roll away like a never-ending wave, while the towers look back at you like a mirror into the flaws of humanity. Deception, false promises, and the dreams of a better future. This is the Delta Solar Ruins.